Can you just start by explaining why the team announcement was being postponed? Yeah, just uh, I think with the uncertainty of what, what was happening and there's been a lot of meetings and things going on, so just wanted to make sure we got clarity and um, in terms of the boys got a day off tomorrow and then come back on Thursday and we'll announce the team on Thursday. So I guess at the moment you don't have any assurances over whether this, this game is No, there. not at the moment, but I'm confident um, that uh, with the discussions that are taking place that uh, hopefully something will get resolved today. How many meetings are the players having to have that are not going to until the game is in there? Oh, there's probably been half a dozen meetings over the last you know, few days and stuff and things. So, um, yeah, so today was supposed to be a, a double session, but we've kept it to just this morning, so we're not training this afternoon. Um, like I said, hopefully those things get resolved and um, boys turn up on Thursday, room to go for Saturday. You know, any sort of chaos like this in the building? Um, no, it's been a bit of a challenge, but you know, sometimes that galvanises people and brings them together. And like I said, you know, I wanted things to get resolved, um, you know, hopefully today, and uh, and then we can just focus on the game for Saturday. Wonderful. Are you hopeful that this game will take place? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nick, if the game does go ahead, how confident are you that the Welsh team can? represents itself properly given the, uh, the chaotic build-up? Yeah, it's, like it's, it's been a challenge, but in fairness to the players uh, at, at training and even this morning, you know, they they put their training heads on and, and trained well. Uh, we had a good week last week uh, in terms of uh, working the players in, you know, incredibly hard and, and they responded well to that. So, yeah, there's been things going on behind. Obviously, we're well aware of that, but you know, when it's come to training, they have applied themselves um, very well, so I've been pleased with that. Do you understand the problems uh, that players have in agreeing performance-related pay as a fair chunk of their wages, given that there are likely to be fewer resources available for the, the regions and therefore weaker sides in the next couple of years? Um, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure about your question. Well, the sticking point, as we understand it, is that a chunk of the players' wages will be dependent on results over the next couple of years with the regions, that is. Look, the, 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 my understanding is that the players have asked and requested a number of things to be looked at, and I said there's um, discussions taking place today, and so I hope those issues will be resolved and uh, the players will be happy with the outcome. Where do you stand on the 60 cap law? Um, that's one of the things that are being reviewed, and like I said, discussions are taking place today, and I'm sure... Hopefully there's a, a resolution in that and, uh, and the players are happy with that. Do you think that there ought to be some sort of law there in terms of uh, selection of Welsh-based players, even if it's a, a reduced number of caps in the Yeah, future? possibly, and that's, like I said, that's uh, part of the discussion and obviously with the, uh, with the regions and in terms of supporting the, the regions. I mean... Everyone's spoken before about, and I've on a number of occasions spoken about um, the 60 cap rule, and it does give the players in Wales a, a greater opportunity. And there's there's no doubt about that in terms of the extra preparation they they get, uh, not having to go back to the clubs in fallow weeks and being able to train with the national team. And there is there is an advantage to to players being based in Wales and and having that chance to be, you know, part of the setup and, and get more preparation time. And Given these problems, any uh, regrets about coming back here in the first place? <laughs> have another go. No, it's been it's been uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind in terms of being challenging. So, um, look, you've got to you've got to accept what what you're faced with, and um, you know, hopefully, like I said, we can get some resolution today and um, and concentrate on the game uh, when we come back to training on Thursday. James, Warren, you say you're, you're confident the game will go ahead. Are you hearing positive things from the players? Um, I'm hearing positive things from from both sides, yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully the, the the discussions will be acceptable to to both sides in terms of making some sort of compromise, and we can um, can get on with the game. Do you think it will be resolved today rather than tomorrow? Um, I'm hope I'm hope, hopefully it will be sorted out today, yeah. How tough has this been for you as a coach? Do you ever know anything? Yeah, it's been like I said, it's been a challenge, but you've got to put you know, those things behind you and. And hopefully focus on the game, and that was a big part of today. It was supposed to be a double session, and you know we went a bit longer this morning in terms of training, just to, because there has been you know so many things that have been going on behind or outside of rugby, and so just was a, was an opportunity for the players to get away from it, to 
to sort of refocus individually and then come back on Thursday ready to go. And have you made any contingency plans if those players work with you guys instead of other players? Uh, no, I haven't, no. Alex? Well, right, right. just, just on the follow-up question about jumping into the middle of this, when you made the decision to come back, were you aware that this whole situation was was kind of loitering in the background? And I wasn't aware of any of the issues that were taking place at, at all, yeah, so... So it caught you by surprise? When, when did you first learn about that all this was, was to, to, to Look, be thrust out of the middle of the um, Probably last week in terms of... Um, I think it just come to a head because, you know, everyone needs to take some responsibility and, and I think people are well aware that these negotiations and discussions have been going on for, for too long. I think the players were given assurances on a number of occasions that it would be sorted out and, you know, the unfortunate situation that, you know, that they haven't been able to come to an agreement in terms of um, PRGB and, and with, the, with the union and, and the regions and, you know, it finally came to a head. So. Um, you know, I think we were all been asking for, for things to get sorted and, you know, I wasn't aware of any of the issues going on uh, when I took the job. Do you wish someone had shared them with you? <laughs> um, well, I wish I'd have known a few few things that were going on, actually, so... Um, yeah, but it's just, you know, like I said, it's been a challenge, but, you know, it is what it is and you just got to, you know, take it on the chin and then and focus on, on your role and your job in terms of preparing the team. Okay. As you understand it from the players, how genuine a threat is this? If it's not resolved, will they strike for the game? Not? I think it's a genuine threat, yeah, there's no, there's no doubt about that. But like I said, um, having spoken to a, to a few people today, I'm, I'm confident that we will get some resolution. Kamish? Okay, you're obviously going to name the team today, so you must have a fairly settled idea what you're going to do. Has it changed your continuity that you're, you're looking at this week? Um, we'll, we'll name the team on Thursday. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Are you not trading this afternoon because the players don't want to, or because there's meetings that they've got that we've got across? No, I think I made the decision, which was um, there's been a lot of things that have been going on outside of rugby, and um, and that's been a part of the focus. So rather than training this afternoon, it was kind of like let's do a longer session this morning and give players an opportunity to go and reset and, like I said, hopefully that resolution takes place and you know, there's been no no discussion from the players about not taking part in training. Do you feel, Warren, that professional rugby has reached a, a point, not just here in Wales, but there's crises all over um, Six Nations, that, that the, the evolution of professional rugby has reached a point where a, a reset button needs to be hit, that the players now feel they, they have a a voice that needs to be heard in a way that perhaps it hasn't been before? Um, I, think, I think with Wales it's a little bit different everywhere else. There's no doubt that the, the pandemic, you know, in, in terms of COVID, it has had a significant impact on the finances in the game and, and that probably means that not just in Wales but everywhere else that there probably needs to be a little bit reset and, and a balance in terms of making sure that um, you know, people aren't overspending in terms of the monies that are being paid, and uh, I think we're well aware of you know, a number of stories about that. And it's, there's issues, obviously, in Wales in terms of um, keeping within our means, and there's probably been overspend and, and money money generated in the game. And the players are aware of that. They they, they know that um, going forward, there probably needs to be a little bit of a uh, a reduction in in salaries to make sure that the that uh, the regions are. Doing things within their means, and um, and there's no doubt that there's you know, obviously some issues in, in England as well in terms of the clubs and um, with the, with the same sort of problems. Alex, oh sorry, it's Alex. Warren, is there um, any concern? I'm speaking with the SNC, but is there any concern that rushing through changes in the short term to avoid this strike could lead to you know, long-term ramifications like the 60 cup rules abolished? No, I, I don't think so. I think. Um, what the players were asking for, I think, was was definitely reasonable in, in terms of, and there needed to be some negotiation. Um, it's like everything; it's you know you've got to find some middle ground, and I think um, hopefully that, um, like I said, that the discussions today there'll be some middle ground where the players are happy with, and 
and um, the professional game board will be also happy with you know some of the concessions that they make as well. So you know, there's not the thing is it's not always about you know when you're in discussion it's not always about a win-win for, for one side. You've got to find find some compromise and and hopefully that um, that will be the case today. Well, I don't think there's going to be any lack of motivation for, for Wales playing against England. So, like I said, I need it. You know, today the boys have got a day off tomorrow, and then um, I'm sure they, they'll come back if, if things are resolved, and um, they'll be completely focused on the game. Well, and obviously, um, it looks like the region's budget will be gelled next season. So, obviously, the you know, chance of success is probably less. Does that concern you a little bit? Because the standard could obviously go lower region available and might not help yourself or the, the next national coach, not you? Um, <clears throat> no, I don't think that's that's an issue. I mean, the players have, have said it's not about the money. There was, the, you know, they, they're well aware that that the regions um, have probably been living outside their or operating outside their means a little bit, and. and you know, they're aware that there's probably going to be a reset on, on the contract. So, you know, hopefully that means those players uh, stay in Wales and, and we get the opportunity to, to develop some more depth and talent in here. Um, I think we would all like to see our regions being more successful and, you know, hopefully that can be the case going forward. Any other questions? No? Yeah. Okay. We Thank will you. leave it Cheers. there. Then. Thank you.